Hi guys, this is the Creole Cajun Queen, and I want to know what you're cooking, Shay. Well, today I'm going to do fish and chips. Everybody's home. You're going to hear a little bit of kids in the background because, of course, we're all inside trying to stay safe. And I hope you guys are staying safe, too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do fish bites for the kids, but I'm going to do the whole fish for the adults. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and flour my fish bites. And what I did was I got one piece of catfish because that's what I like and I cut it into little bitty pieces okay for the kids they look look at the whole fish like ugh, you know but um I'm just cooking I'm cooking I hope you guys are just doing fun things with your family to uh, pass this time I know we all are gonna get through it and so I'm gonna drop the fish bites first okay I seasoned it my fish already I, I like to have my uh, meat or fish already seasoned with them um, I love the Old Bay um, spicy seasoning I mean I'm really loving it I need to find out where I can get a big bottle so I did that beforehand and the chips part I know some of it is french fries for guys but what I did was I sliced red potatoes into thin slices like sort of like potato chips and i already pre-fried some i seasoned it i washed it i dried it put a little olive oil on it and i did some creole seasoning on it okay so i'm gonna get this going all right Now, for the greedy adults that I have in my family, of course they wanted the whole catfish. Well, you probably want to say, why do you have this big whole catfish? I have had a couple of them in my freezer, and so I took them out, throw them out, seasoned them up, and just said, hey, I'm going to just cook my way out of my freezer, my deep freezer, while we're here sitting around with each other. Okay? In a minute, I'm going to come back. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the kids first because the little ones come first. And then I'll go ahead and fry up the big ones for the adults. I'll see you in one minute. Thank you guys. I went ahead and battered and did the whole fish. It's done. I'm gonna go ahead and start dressing the plate. I'm gonna let this rest just for a minute. I'm gonna take it out by the tail. <laughs> Hope I don't break it. I can go ahead. Nah, I think I better go ahead. If I break this fish, I'm gonna be mad. But here it is, the whole catfish. And I'm gonna go ahead and start dressing the plate. So, I'm gonna lay my nuggets around here. I like it when everybody grab. The nuggets are very crispy, by the way. And that's the way I like it. Okay, go ahead on and put a lemon couple of pieces of lemon around it because I just love lemon with seafood around the plate. Okay, well, let me use this one. Get the seed off. Okay, so I kind of like have the nuggets on there. And now I'm going to go ahead and put the whole piece of catfish on there. Just pile it up on there. Kind of just put my chips to the side okay all right making like a little platter boat now on the chips i put just a little bit of parmesan cheese you don't have to do that i'm just a little extra and then i go ahead and dress my plate Okay, and here you have your fish and chips plate and your nuggets. So you have something for the adults and the kids. Okay. Catfish, that catfish looks good. Can't wait to dig into it. So guys, thank you for tuning in. I'm going to have plenty more videos, of course, coming because, of course, we're all inside. Um, thank you for supporting me, all the guys that support me, and remember, 
Creole Cajun Queen wants to know what you cooking, shit. Thank you.